and not even just the wild dog, we had a wild hog. My mom came into my room and screamed at me and said, there's a wolf, there's a dog, there's a coyote in the backyard. As you guys saw in the thumbnail and the title, last night was very drastic. It was crazy and it was hectic. We had a wild dog come into the property. And not even just the wild dog, we had a wild hog come inside the backyard as well. The wild hog was followed by the dog. It was a husky, it was my neighbor's dog. And this dog is pretty aggressive and it came into the yard because the pig busted through the fence and it came into the yard and just went hectic in the backyard and went ham on all the animals in the yard, in the goat area, where Snickers is at, where the Gucci gang is at, and it was insane. So yesterday, you guys, it was a normal day. I woke up and I went to work. When I went to work, it was very, very, very busy and it was a crazy day at work. I got home and when I got home, I ate dinner, this and that, and I pretty much went to bed very, very early. I told my mom, I told my sister to make sure she put Snickers and the Gucci gang away around seven o'clock. That's pretty much dust time here in South Florida. This dog could have came in at any time of the day. Thank goodness it didn't come in when I was at work because nobody was home and that dog could have destroyed everybody in the yard. But it happened around midday and I was already asleep in my bed. I was knocked out. I was tired. It was a very, very long day at work and at the ranch. So I'm gonna pretty much show you guys and reenact, not reenact, but show you guys what happened, how my mom woke me up and what happened. Like it was crazy. My mom came into my room and screamed at me and said, there's a wolf, there's a dog, there's a coyote in the backyard, and... All right, as you guys saw, I ran out the door. That's when my mom woke me up from my bed and said, there's a wolf, there's a dog, there's a coyote in the backyard, and all I remember is it was, that's why I asked her, I said, what time is it? And she's like, it's still early. I ran outside so fast because I knew she didn't put the ducks away and I knew she didn't have the goat away yet. And because it was so early, it was only like eight o'clock at night. This dog could have came in during any time of the day and could have destroyed everything, but it was at nighttime and I was already asleep and the animals weren't put away yet. So I ran outside. When I ran outside, I was in my boxers. I was with no shirt on. I just busted it outside, you guys. And when I ran out there, I saw the ducks going ham. Lola came running to me because that's my main goat and she knows that I'm protection and she just came towards me. Everybody came towards me, the goats, everybody, because they know that I'm like the safety dude and they all came towards me. Gatelina was protecting the herd as good as she can, but it was a big dog and it was chasing everybody around. Snickers came straight towards me. Thank God I saw Snickers because if I did not see Snickers, it would have been very, very um, bad because I really like my animals and that was one of my favorite ones and if that would have happened that dog probably would have not made it through the night because it was coming after me just keep going so i came inside of here all the animals were over there in the corner hiding and this dog was over there by the ducks just going crazy crazy there is some dead animals still in the yard i'm gonna pick them up right now it's still early early morning here on the ranch it's around seven o'clock in the morning and i had to pick up all the animals and bury them somewhere else because it's pretty nasty. He, he didn't eat him. He didn't do anything like that. He, just, he was just going crazy. He was just killing the animals and killing them and throwing them and just going after each and every one of the animals in the backyard. So right over there by the ducks, the ducks are all put away now, but the ones that died are right over there on the side. And what happened was I saw this dog going after it just literally in front of me, grabbed one of the Gucci gates and just broke its neck. I went over this to the dog. The dog came at me. And when the dog came at me, I had to put a little bit of aggression towards the dog because the dog was trying to come after me. And I mean, you can't tell, but I have one little scratch here, but that's nothing at all. But let me not go into like crazy farm animal stuff because this dog went psycho. And then this is right here because this whole area is completely fenced in. The pig is what started it. The pig, the dog followed the pig and he came right up here and busted through right here. The pig came over here and went right underneath there busted through there and got into here where all the animals were at because the pig knows that the other pig is here, Willie's over here, and wanted to fight the other pig. It was just crazy, it was mad ham. I got my neighbors over here, I got the dog, I got him on a freaking leash, and I threw him out of the yard, I got him out of here, I put Snickers away, I had everybody out. And then like I said, right over here, we got three dead ducks. We have two of the Gucci gangs and one of the call ducks got nailed from that husky, it was not fun at all. That husky went crazy. And then also one of Snickers' brothers, the little boy that was over there by the boys, he got killed too. 
I guess because he came in from that side first and then he realized that the pig made a hole here and then came into here and then he just went crazy inside of here and just started messing with everybody and that's when he killed the ducks because he just saw fluffy things everywhere and I guess dogs just, you know what I mean? Not all dogs get along with animals and he just wanted to kill everything. So we go over here to this side and I'll show you. Cause these are all fenced in. So nothing can really get in except I guess a hog. This even a dog can't really jump these fences, but I guess it did. But it didn't. It went. It didn't jump the fence. It went from underneath because it followed the hog. And then I'm not gonna show you guys too much of this either. But right here, we're gonna show you one quick sec because I'm not lying to you guys. Like this all happened and it was crazy, and it was pretty. It was it was really upsetting because. These are all my animals. I take care of these things every single day. And it wasn't like it was a coyote. It was, my, it was a dog. It was a normal dog. So their dog got out of the property. And it's just upsetting because it got out. But it's okay. There are neighbors that help out a lot. So I did forgive them. But thank God, like I said, it wasn't Snickers. And this right here is Snickers' brother that passed away from, I guess, it got bit in the neck or something. Yeah. Yep. 100%. There's a hole right there on the chest where the dog bit it and just killed it instantly i guess and then ran over here came this way because the pig has came before and been in this area before if you guys ever remember i had a wild hog come through that was the same hog and it busted through the fence right there and then the dog followed right behind it and went in there and started messing up all of the ducks like i said thank goodness it didn't kill snickers because if i saw snickers dead on the floor that dog would have not made it back into its yard at all because i just know with my heart, it would it just would have not happened. Like I was going crazy. My mom and sister were out here. Like kind of freaking. My sister was helping me out, but my sister was like, she she even said that the way my voice was. I'm a very calm person, as you guys know. I'm not loud. I'm not uh. I'm not crazy like that at all. I'm calm. And when it's something with my animals, I take very very big precautions on stuff like that. And my sister said that she even like backed away a little bit because the dog was coming after me and the dog was coming after me and I was I had to hit the dog because the dog was coming after me and was trying to bite me next and I'm not getting bit by an animal that's not, I'm not getting bit by animals so I hit the dog a few times I had to hit the dog so the dog get off me I don't have a gun on me I didn't have nothing like that I can't shoot the dog I'm not a true rancher I'm a rancher but I don't have a gun on me like some ranchers do I'm not like that I don't have a bat I, have, I had to use my hands I had to use my arms and I got the dog off the animals and I leashed it up and I tied it to the fence until the neighbors got while the dog was still growling, the dog was still going. And it, like you guys, this is not no little freaking little chihuahua. So this is a big giant husky, like a 115 pound husky. That's a big dog. That's like the size of a wolf. My mom ran into the house and was like, there's a wolf in the backyard. What the, what the freak you mean a wolf in the backyard? All I knew is I thought it was a coyote and then I remembered the dog. I remember that dog's gotten it out before. And I, you saw I busted it out there, you guys. So yeah, that's what happened last night. And it was crazy. It was not fun at all. It was very upsetting. And I'm almost thinking, kind of, even though it wasn't a coyote and things of that sort, but there are more coyotes in the neighborhood because people have been saying there's been coyotes. And I'm almost thinking about getting a Great Pyrenees just to have it here on the property to protect all the animals because I am going to be getting more animals. I am going to be getting more animals and I can't have this happening again. So even though I put precautions with the fencing that do this, I do that, I have six foot fencing down and all this stuff. It's still busted through. A pig came in. I mean, a dog cannot go through this, but what happened was the hog. It was a hog. If you guys know hogs, hogs grew up and they bust. And that thing is full intact pot belly pig. And it just busted through right here. And the dog followed right behind it and went in and just went crazy. Thank God it didn't get captain right here because this is the male of everybody. But still, I mean, it's still really upsetting that it got the animals. That's just prize stuff. And it got part of the Gucci gang. So now what? We have. Hold on. So now we have only eight of the Gucci gang left out of the 12 that I got from the beginning because, as you see, two just passed away because of the damn husky. And yeah, crazy night. Literally crazy night it was. I don't know what else to, nah, what else to do, but I know what to do now. I just gotta, you just, it's just a ranch life, you guys. That's what happens with the ranchers. Always something different happening here. And you can't put your guard down because you have animals out here and other animals want to eat other animals and this and that. There's always different things happening here. You gotta, you always put as much precautions, putting things together, and you got these guys looking at you that are like, you're my dad, you gotta protect me, and I do the best to do to protect these guys, and that happened, and there's nothing I can do. We fix the situation, the dog's gone, the hog's gone, and now all I can do is hope it doesn't come back again and just make my fences stronger, and that's it.
And one of the craziest, not craziest, but one of the kind of crazy thing that I realized also is that I can't, I went back to bed, like everything was done, cleaned up, I had everything done, it was like two hours later, and I'm like, just sparked up out of bed, and I was like, crap, I told my mom, but where's the goose? She's like, the goose? I'm like, yeah, where the heck is the goose at? It wasn't dead on the floor, I didn't see it anywhere, I couldn't find it anywhere. I freaked out, I was like, that's my goose, that's my first goose, like I was like, where the heck is my goose at? His name is Clumsy, the female goose I have. So I was like, where the heck is Clumsy? So I went around the light and I was just looking around. I was looking for a dead body, I was looking for feathers, I was looking for where the heck is my goose at because this goose has protected these goats and warned them off on coyotes actually have come. I've had videos with game trails, game track cameras, with this goose chasing off the damn coyote, biting in the butt practically, chasing off the coyote. But I guess this goose know this was no freaking coyote. This because the coyotes out here are only like 50 to 60 pounds. This was a big freaking dog. So I guess she took off because this morning when I woke up around 6 a.m., my neighbor called me and said, hey, your goose is in my yard. I said, thank God. He's like, why? I'm like, because you have no idea. Some crazy stuff happened last night. So I'm going to roll the clip and you're going to see the little goose. Well, my little goose. My goose next door in the property store just honking. And I was like, oh, thank God she's alive. And I got her back. Cause I, I don't know how. I guess she flew over the fence in the middle of the night. And it's a big goose. Tell me how the goose, that is a heavy goose, flew over a six-foot fence. I don't know, I didn't know they could fly like that, but it flew over a six foot fence and she took off and thank God she did because she's safe now and she's good and that's one of my first goose and I was really happy, think, like I was happy that didn't happen or anything happened to her. Hope you guys enjoyed this video here at Blake Things Out Again Morant. I will see you guys in an upcoming video. Always stay tuned, put those post notifications on because there's always something happening different here on the ranch and I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Thank you everybody. Woo!